contestant is? Contestant number? Contestant number? First up, we have contestant number two, Sonia Sunar Chetri. Congratulations, Sonia. Next up, who do you think is our next top two? Who? Who is the second contestant? Contestant number four, Sanjita Tapa. Sanjita, here you go. Hey, congratulations to you, girl. So, who is the next contestant? Any guesses? One more time, any guesses? Contestant number six, Rashmita Paul. Next up, we have our next top ten, and that is Contestant number five, Sonia Matak. Next, who do you think it is? Who do you think it is? Contestant number 13, Komal Sharma. Komal, where are you? Okay, here you go. Next. We have contestant number contestant number seven, Palabi Sam Gupta. So the next contestant is contestant number contestant number twelve.
Shalom. But Sonia, right now my question is for you. And uh, if you 
could break one rule, which one would it be and why? Thank you so much, ma'am, for the question. So, according to my opinion, if I get an opportunity to break one rule, I won't break this one rule. I want to break entire rule. Since rules are the barrier to success. So, if we can break rules, there are more paths to success. And I believe that rules are, uh, we should not, we should follow rules. But if I get an opportunity, I'll surely break all the rules. Thank you so much. Thank you. Next, we have Kamal Sharma. Let's choose Miss Fatma. Hello, Kamal. Hello, ma'am. You are ready? Okay. The question goes for you. Why do you think self-worth is important? And can you repeat it? Why do you think self-worth is important? Thank you so much for the question, ma'am. For me, a self-worth is important because it builds our confidence level. Well, if self-worth is there, we can do whatever we want to do. If we fall down, just walk up and stand again and say what you want to do, do what you want to achieve in your life. Thank you. Thank you. We, next we have Kalabi. She has chose uh, Miss Irene. Hello, uh, ma'am. Are you nervous? No, not at all. Yeah, let's <laughs> All right. So my question to you would be, can you share your idea of Mr. Right? Mr. Right. Okay, well, I have met my Mr. Right. It's been four years ago. When I have seen him first time, I call him a lover's first time. And, like, he was my owner, but I, I was his staff. So I haven't hoped that he will be my Mr. Right. So after later on, he proposed me. And also I was called for him because I really admire him since before. And also the way he treat me, he treat me like I am his queen. That's all. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Next we have Kriti. She is chosen once again, Miss Fatma. Hi, Preeti. Hello, ma'am. You're good? Yes, I'm good. Okay. okay, tell me. What are the, some of the biggest challenges girls face today? Oh, ma'am, could you please repeat it again? What are the biggest challenges girls face today. Thank you so much ma'am for this question. Uh, according to me, uh, in this current generation, girls mostly faces comparison. They are always being compared to boys in all the aspects. If they are not uh, willing to be compared, but they are forced to be compared with boys. Thank you. Thank you. Next we have Payal Das. She has chosen once again Miss Ratna. Hi Payal. Hello ma'am. You are looking very pretty. Thank you ma'am. And your smile is lovely. Thank you ma'am. Okay, let me ask you the question now. Do you think women should compete with men in politics instead of depending on reservation. Thank you so much for your question, ma'am. Well, I think women should compete with men in... Well, I think women should compete with men and, do not, uh, and not uh, focus on the reservation 
because reservation is just a bridge. Uh, reservation is just a bridge that uh, that bridges the uh, point. Well, I think, Ms. Ma'am, can you please repeat the question? Yeah. I asked, do you think women should compete with men in politics instead of depending on reservation? Women should compete with men and not focus on reservation because uh, it will help them to uh, it will help them not just uh, not just allow. It will help them not to. It's okay. Relax. Relax, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. It's okay. Yes, women should come. Women should compete with men. Men, uh, because if we compete with men and not just focus on the reservation, it will let us uh, let us show our willpower and uh, not just focus, uh, not just, not just, uh, not just uh, focus on, oh, no, I'm sorry. It's okay, it's all right, it's all right. Okay. Women should compete with men. In terms of uh, uh, in terms of politics, because this will this will show that women does not only have to uh, have to uh, just so women does not just have to women does not have to focus on one thing, and they can lead on their own. Thank you. Thank you, Very nice. Anisha, yes, Miss Jasmine. Hi, Anisha. Hello, ma'am. I love the color. Thank you so much, ma'am. Right. Uh, listen carefully. And I'd love you to give me some of your thoughts on this question. Ma'am, can you be a little louder, please? Right. So, do you think that social media or technology harms personal relationships? Thank you so much, ma'am, for the beautiful question. Yes, I believe that social media is harming our personal relationship because if we are talking to the person through social media, they don't know what feeling we are expressing to them. And if we are sitting uh, in our family, we are getting get together with the family, everybody is busy with their mobile phones. They don't come and talk with their parents. They don't come and talk what problem they are facing. Instead, talking with the families, they always go social media. Uh, like uploading the status, we get to know that people are sad, they are suffering from this or that. Instead of doing that, some of your friends only, they are going to make the fun of that status. Instead of doing that, go and talk to your parents. They are the one who is going to give you the bright and correct thoughts and the part which you need in your life. So yes, absolutely the social media is affecting our youth. Thank you so much, ma'am, for the question. Well done. Thank you. Next, we have Ikta. One more time, Miss Ratna. Hi, Ikta. Hello, ma'am. Are you nervous? Ma'am, of this. The question for you is that it is said, spare the rod, spoil the child. What's your thought? Thank you for the question, ma'am. So it said that spare the rod and spoil the child. So during the uh, when, when it was uh, the, during the past times, uh, during the earlier times, 
parents used to see physical, like they used to beat with a stick, or maybe they they used to uh, use physical um, uh, physical obstacle as as a tool to uh, teach their children. But now I feel that uh, since we have developed and we have evolved a lot, so I feel that we should communicate with our children, uh, with our peers, so that we can work on it rather than just uh, suppressing their feelings and thoughts about it. I feel that we should come up, we should talk with them, with the children, so that uh, it does not suppress, rather it, uh, we come to know their strengths and weaknesses and work on it more and uh, we come to a uh, better solution. Thank you. Can you be more precise, ma'am, please? Ma'am, Nick, uh, uh, you said that spoil the rod and uh, spoil the child. So, uh, during the old times, we, we usually, uh, the teachers used to use uh, sticks or maybe, um, uh, what do I say, ma'am? Um, sticks or maybe abuse. They used to spoil them so that uh, they uh, do better. But uh, rather than doing that, I feel that they should try to know what are their strengths and weaknesses so that they can work on it. Because if we just, uh, if we just uh, beat with the child with a the stick, they might get more aggressive, they might get more impulsive, they will get more hyperactive. Rather than we should get to know what are their strengths and weaknesses so that we can work on it more better and get a better solution. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was just brilliant. They walk beautifully and they even talk with so much intelligence. Do you agree with me? Yes? Yes. Thank you so much, girls. So, uh, you can go back to stage right now. So I just had to let you know